We need more people like her to highlight the, what's going on. The workshop's called Intro to Blockading, and the idea behind it is we're not encouraging anybody to do this. However, if you are feeling like you want to take direct action, this workshop's about how to do it safely without injuring yourself or anybody else. The sole reason why there aren't any drills on this field is because the camp's been occupying the, the land. It was set up about 18 months ago by a number of like, local residents and people from further afield as a direct protest to exploratory CBM well. The High Court ruled that the land should be left by yesterday. You can obviously kind of look around and see how many people are actually taking notice of that. So it's either about preventing people from going in um, to stop work from happening or else to defend a space like this that people have occupied. When they uh, apply to the council, all they had to do was advise people within a 250 metre radius of here. Well, if you look around at 250 metres from here, all they had to advise were cows. Living 500 metres from the site, I think I should have had a letter. Yes, this lady lives probably closer, but um, it's... And you didn't get any? No, no. And before you know it, all these things have gone through. Especially within the fracking movement, people are feeling like democracy has been taken away from them. Nobody wants it. In this area, which is inhabited by 7,000 people, 3,000 people were sampled randomly. 86% were in a, uh, objection to grass drilling. It's fine to feel a bit scared, so it's good just to have a little bit of a practice and see how you feel once you're actually attached to something. <laughs> The protectors who are here are here to protect our land and they will remain so until such time as there's the inevitable conflict between bailiffs of the court and people who are protecting our land. If you're going to be there for a few hours, you can lay down, try and get a roll mat underneath you so that you're warm and dry, cake in your pocket. We can only do what we can and obviously the more objection in all its forms, direct action, political, will cost IGAS more money and send a direct mass message to central government that they're not wanted here. <laughs>